So, oh, oh, bro, oh my, yo, wait a second. No, nah, this dude is ridiculous. How good do you really need to be to get that Alabama off? What's up with everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day and welcome back to Shark Sports. And today we're here to find out what it really takes to make that Alabama roster. And as we should all know, a team is only as strong as its weakest link. And that's why today we're taking a look at the lowest ranked recruit in Alabama's 2022 recruiting class. And that is none other than three-star tight end coming out of Westgate High School, Danny Lewis, the 30th best player in Louisiana, the 31st best tight end in the country, and the 618th best player nationally. All right, but let's jump into it and see what the lowest ranked recruit in Alabama's 2022 to recruiting classes looking like on the field. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's see what my guy Danny Lewis, aka Alabama's lowest ranked recruit, is looking like on the field. So we should already know that, hey, if you're Alabama's lowest ranked recruit, you still gonna be one of those one of those guys. Okay, showing showing off a little bit of the wheels, you know, showing showing off he's got some wheels. I think what did it say, six four and a half, two thirty, something like that. Oh, this uh, body, nah. He's, he's just gonna be bodying kids out here. So, oh, oh, bro, oh my, yo, wait a second. No, nah, this dude is ridiculous. Hold up, hold up, my boy. <laughs> no, nah, this is ridiculous. He said, boom, 13, 13 got checked, straight body slammed. He said, bop, nope, jumps over him. Nope, you're not bringing me down. Bro, he literally was just a pinball machine out there. And then he's just gonna be able to, he's gonna be able to just give you those high points all day, every day. Lock him up, drop, drop him out, let's go. That's what you like to see. Oh, bro, oh my, yo, nah, you shouldn't be able to run people over like this, bro. He's literally just, nah. It's taking three, four guys each time just to bring him down. And if you try one-on-one -on -one him, he's just going to embarrass you. Nope. Again, being able to high point it. Hey. Even Alabama's lowest ranked recruit is still a beast. Oh, oh, boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Showing off. Okay, showing off the route running a little bit. Give me that. Nah, no. Hey, Alabama got the one. I mean, they always get them one, but they got they got them one top to bottom. Alabama always does a great job of recruiting. And especially when you look at a guy who is a top 600 player. I mean, he would I say the 618th best player. You know that Nick Saban or somebody on that coaching staff saw him and was like, hey, no, there's something special about this kid. Because normally, normally Alabama, they normally pick up one to three three star recruits every single recruiting class. But those three-star recruits end up being normally some of their best players because it's like they come in with no expectation they come in with no hype and they just work hard but then they go also the coaches have see something in them like i see this dude as being an oj howard type obviously oj howard was like a four i think it was a five-star recruit coming out of high school but this dude he reminds me a lot just a, a less athletic version but probably a better blocker he still has that same, you know, throw it up to him. He's just going to come down with it every single time. I mean, he's showing great blocking from the slot, showing great blocking on the line. Not getting brought down by the first dude, that's for sure. I, I have yet to see somebody take him down one-on-one, -on -one, bro. He is just, he's running over these dudes like they're not even there. And then he he's hes deceptively athletic. He's deceptive. Ooh. Okay, showing off the... Showing off the hands a little bit, diving out for it, lay out for it one time. Let's go. But yeah, no, this dude is deceptively athletic, solid route runner for for his size and, and for playing tight end. Great blocker from what I've been seeing. Nice hands catcher. You know he can go up and high point your pass. He's gonna be a great, um, he's gonna be a great red zone target for whoever Alabama's next quarterback is. A little push off, but it's all good. So, whoa, whoa, no, this kid's got some serious hands. That was definitely a push off, but. The one-hander diving, let's go. Again, look at how every single time he's catching these passes, he's catching it with his hands out in front of him. He's not letting the ball get in on his body. He's catching it away from him. And again, you need the whole team to bring him down. Oh, that's, that's too easy. <laughs> they didn't even want to block him there.
yeah, he, he is going to be a mismatch because if you put him in the slot, he's bigger than most linebackers and safety. So he's going to be able to just the high point passes wherever you put him. And then he shows off the block. He's go, go sit him down on the bench. Yeah, go have him go find something out there. Oh, just turn around. He's money. Bro. Oh, bro, he just running over everybody. I, I love the fact that he's showing that he's he's able to catch those passes across the middle. Be, being able to being able to catch the 50 50 like they can like where you get hit as soon as you as soon as you catch the ball. It's, it's light work for him. Obviously, once he starts going up against guys who are closer to his size, it's going to be more impressive to be able to catch that uh, that bang bang uh, play. But being able to show it in high school is still just as impressive go high point it they ain't stopping me give me that it's too easy so that is what alabama's lowest ranked recruit in three-star tight end danny lewis was looking like on the field even alabama's lowest ranked recruit is a physical monster i mean my guy is six four and a half 255 pounds moves like he's 225 has great bursts off the line phenomenal blocking he can go up and high point the pass for you he's not getting brought down by the first guy this dude is going to be a great move the chains and red zone threat tight end for Alabama. And Danny Lewis does a good job of capping off an amazing, another amazing year of Alabama recruiting. All right, y'all, I know that y'all enjoyed this video, so be sure to leave this video a like. Also, comment down below, what did you guys think of Danny Lewis, as well as who is, are all my Alabama fans, who is your favorite player that you guys picked up in your 2022 recruiting class? Also, if you haven't already and you've got to this point of the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss any of the five videos that we're dropping on the channel. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.